Turn to one of our top stories now. An unnamed U.S. official has said that the weekend attacks on Saudi oil facilities were launched from Iran and included cruise missiles. President Donald Trump has said he's ready to help the Saudis, but he does not want war with Iran. Let's speak now to Patricia DeGennaro, who's a senior geopolitical analyst at Threat Tech, a company that provides solutions to threats across various environments. She joins us now from Hampton in Virginia. Uh, Patricia, really appreciate you being with us. Uh, do you believe that Iran was indeed behind these attacks on oil facilities? I don't know, that remains to be seen yet. So I think we have to sit back and let the investigators do their job before we jump to any conclusions. The Saudis themselves have asked for UN investigators to come in, and I think we ought to give these investigators an opportunity to ensure where those weapons came from. Um, it's difficult to tell these days because, as we all know, we there are you know, weapons all over the world from various different countries and people are using them regardless of, so, you know, so it's hard for us to tell who's using them. How does all of this right now affect the potential for a, a trump Rouhani meeting next week at the United Nations General Assembly? Uh, I think there's going to be very slim chance uh, of a of a meeting between Trump and Rouhani. Um, there may be some back-channel discussions. There may be some talk through the French um, as Macron has started, which I think is a very good opportunity to ease some of the tensions. But I'm not sure that under this administration and the tensions that uh, President Trump is getting from the GOP themselves, that he's going to be willing to have talks with any Iranians, at least um, out in the open or noticeably. But you never and know. With Patricia, Donald just quickly before we have quickly before we have to go, um, we know that the Trump administration is reportedly weighing uh, what sort of a military response. We know that the president has continuously said he does not want a war with Iran. Should everybody be holding back at this point, waiting for that U.N. investigation? Yes, they should be. We The last thing we need to have is another war in the region. It'll spark a whole dynamic throughout the region. I don't think that any country is ready for that currently. And we certainly can't control it. Um, it's already very volatile, and any action from the U.S. is only going to start off a worse um, trajectory than we already have. We really need to sit back and negotiate and ease tensions and have some talks uh, and, and and I think taking pressure off Iran a little bit would really be helpful at this point because it seems they have nowhere to go from here. All right, Patricia DeGennaro with Threat Tech, we really appreciate you being with us. Thanks for that.